Hello YouTube people. In this video I will show you several watches. I will show you this Casio old timer and these two brothers. One is with negative display and one with the positive. By the way pay attention timer function. So yes in this video I gonna hack this watch so that the timer function becomes available. Anyway. I would like to start this video with this watch with the negative uh, display. This is the first one that I bought from this group of watches. And I just didn't do the review of this watch because I didn't want to do negative review uh, about this Casio watch. Because overall what you get for the money is really good even with this negative display. But it's the reason why I bought the one with positive display as, as well but about this one later on and now let me just show you this one with negative display and I, because I just want to get it out of the way and much things to tell about this watch I'll just tell you one thing this negative display is no good actually the proper light like now you see everything very well it looks nice well, this is how it looks like in real life without proper light. I mean, those small numbers are actually very difficult to read. If you go through the menu, everything is very difficult to see. I'm not impressed by this watch, by the screen, to be honest. So I don't recommend buying this watch. That's why this watch goes into an op tier, the one with negative display. Let me show you an example. This is g-shock with good negative display because those numbers are thick so they are still very well visible but with this one they are just too slim too small of a numbers they are very difficult to see this goes into nope tier don't need to talk about this anymore All right now i just gonna compare these two watches and i'll and later on i'll show you how i hack this timer function thank you guys for commenting and letting me know that this is even possible without your comments i wouldn't even consider doing that even wouldn't even consider that something like that is possible but thanks to you i did that okay let's get to the comparison okay the world timer have already done the review on this watch you can check the link in the description if you want to see the full review of this watch they are very similar these two watches in terms of a looks in terms of functionality but first of all let's see how they look like later on we'll compare functionality by the way i'm wondering looking at the screen of the camera and see this watch looks a lot bigger <laughs> in camera than it looks in real life it's not that big in person <laughs> i don't know how camera does that maybe let me try to zoom in a little bit to change the perspective. Yeah, this looks more like in re real life. It's not that big as it looks when I use wide angle. Oh, <laughs> the watch becomes a lot bigger. Yeah, this is more like real life perspective. That's how it looks like. Okay, anyway, let me put another watch to show you how. It looks in comparison. Later on, we'll discuss about technical differences. My opinion about Volt Timer. I already told you on the review of Volt Timer watch. I'm not the biggest fan how it looks like, but I saw some modifications on YouTube, and people do make this watch look really impressive, really interesting. So original as it comes out of the box. Don't really like it, but I saw some modified versions that it looks really great. The same thing with this watch. Also, I don't like how it looks like out of the box, but I saw some YouTube videos, guys making this watch look really nice, really interesting. My biggest problem with this watch is that it looks kind of like a, like a diver watch without a bezel, like something is missing. It's very difficult to show in pictures and in camera because you don't see 3d look but once you see this watch in person in real life 
it looks at first like something is missing. Like there should be some kind of a part around the screen, but it isn't. <laughs> anyway, uh, technically speaking, it makes this watch a little bit better because you see this plastic window is sticking out and it's actually easy to scratch, but because there is no bezel, anything around, it's very easy to fix it. So I'll just take old towel, put some kind of a polishing paste and just hold the watch down, rub it in for a minute or two maybe, and that's it, you have yourself a new watch. So it's like a tool. So you, need, you see me complaining about the looks of this watch is a little bit like I would take this screwdriver and would say, wow, it's actually a very good screwdriver. It's very strong, well built, and it's cheap, but I don't like the looks of it. I mean, it sounds a little bit strange, me complaining about the looks of a screwdriver. I mean, what the hell, man? Nobody cares. It's the same thing about this watch. Me complaining about the looks of this watch. I mean, it's a tool watch. It does the job. It, it's not expensive and it does many things. It has 100 meters of water resistance, 10-year battery. Very good LCD screen, by the way. But about that a little bit later on when we compare to the world timer. So overall, uh, from 20 to 30 euros, very good watch. As this this one as well. That one with negative display, no. But this one is it's actually good. Uh, there is another little problem. You see, this one has unmodified straps. You see how straight they are? Straight off the box, like that. And the problem when I put this watch on the wrist, it kind of doesn't want to sit in a nice oval shape. It kind of wants to go a little bit towards this end because this side of a strap wants to go straight. But that's also fixable. Let me show you. I, this, this is the first one I got. I also noticed that it's not comfortable on the hand. So I did my modification. And it's very simple. Just take the strap, fold it like this, and put it into very hot almost boiling water, not boiling, but almost boiling water. Just submerge it a little bit just to heat it up. Hold it up like that for 15 seconds, 10 seconds maybe. And you can do it multiple times till you get the right shape which is comfortable for you. And this is the end result. That's how it looks after heat treatment. This is original and this is after using hot water to shape it into this oval shape. And now I put it on the wrist and it's like absolutely perfection. It feels wonderful. It's same, almost same thing as F91W with that modification. Super light, super comfy. Really highly recommend doing this modification for the straps. I am really surprised how little uh, people know about this kind of modification, so maybe I'm gonna make a separate video just about uh, rubber strap modification, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. So what are the major differences before the modifications, before the switch gets timer function? So obviously this one doesn't have timer function, about that a little bit later. Uh, the main difference for me is that when I use this world timer and I use some kind of functions like, for example, stopwatch, I do have watch in the corner, which is analog watch. And me personally, I have very difficult time telling the time from this little analog watch. And that's kind of negative. Because if I take this watch and I use something like stopwatch, I still have proper digital time on the corner of the screen. And also, I, I really like the main screen as well. I, I have the day, year, month, date. I mean, and the screen is very bright, very legible, very good screen, really. And I really like this functionality that I can use multiple functions while still seeing the time. Well, and on World Timer, this is very difficult, actually. Yeah, so that's that's the main difference for me. Anyway, you see this watch already modified. Now let's you know move back a little bit in time and let me show you how I did that modification. I watched some YouTube videos, how people do that, and I just copied that <laughs> very easy. Okay, let's try to hack this thing 
and make timer available. These are the tools I'm gonna be using. I don't have soldiering I, I, item soldiering tool, so I'll just use extra sharp head for the screwdriver, which I'm gonna make even sharper with nail filler, like extra extra sharp. And I will also gonna heat it up with the fire right here, and it made it may gonna make things easier. Okay, let's just take this apart and let's see how it goes. Okay, let me try to show you right here next to this black thing on the corner this is a little bubble on this very corner right there okay let's try to remove it okay my screwdriver is very hot right now i believe let's try to removing it and nope it doesn't really help too much it digs oh it, oh it does help nice I, I think i took the most of it let's heat it up once again a little bit that was easier than i thought that's easier than i saw on youtube how people do that without heating it up okay. i hope i'm not gonna damage anything we'll see we'll see okay i think it's fine let's see how it works also, this is how it looks like afterwards. Just a little bit. Let's put it back together. We'll see if it works. Would be nice. Would be nice. And I hope I don't need to reset it. Alarm. Timer. What? Look from the first try. There is a timer. Let's put it back together. It's all clean. Yep. All clean. Nice. So simple. It's so easy. Also, pay attention to the watch I'm currently wearing. I love this thing. This is a thing of beauty. The review is coming up. I just have to have this watch for a little bit more time to form my opinion. You know, uh, to, to find more things to say. But even now, if I would do review about this watch, the review would be <laughs> probably half an hour long. Very impressed by this watch. Really looking forward to do a review on this, this watch. Beautiful. Beautiful. yeah a proper watch right now proper watch yeah great great success let's see how it works the timer is running let's use the backlight the timer is still running let's go through the menu timer going use stopwatch let's go back timer still going let's see if it beeps Okay, it beeps. Oh, it automatically starts looping again. I wonder, do I need to press anything to stop the beeping? No, it beeps for nine seconds. Okay, so the the main problem for me with this stopwatch is that I can't set the seconds, only hours and minutes, and I can only go up in numbers but cannot go down. It just turns out on the backlight. And for example, the world timer, 
I can set hours, minutes, seconds, and I can go not only up in numbers, but I can also go down in numbers. So this timer is a lot better actually, but still, if you don't need timer that accurate, just for, you know, cooking some food or something, this is actually very good to have. Anyway, I mentioned you main points of the watch, showed you the differences between the world timer, after all, this watch isn't isn't bad, it's a tool watch, it gets the job done, it doesn't cost much money, it can easily be your beater watch, or even everyday watch, I mean, it looks kind of cool, I can't really complain too much, at first it looks like it lacks a bezel or something, but I don't know, it's not really that ugly as some people say, and also complaining about the looks of this watch is a little bit like complaining about the looks of the screwdriver as well, <laughs> in my opinion. Anyway, where, where this watch goes on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com. Anyway, let's rewind a little bit back, speaking about tier lists, etc. So on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, this goes into no nope tier because I personally just don't want to recommend this watch for the reasons I have mentioned you already. Cool looking watch, kinda, but yeah, not recommend, I don't recommend it. This world timer, I put it into not bad, because it's not a bad watch, doesn't cost much money, does many things. So does this one, with timer function or without timer function, I put this watch into not bad category, not bad. Not a bad watch, not a bad watch, especially for the money. Anyway, thank you for watching, yet again, thank you for telling me about this modification, this hack. <laughs> Have a nice day. Goodbye.